<sighs> From Double Dragon to Midnight Monsters, now... Okay, I'm going to come out and say Kung Fu. Okay, Kung Fu Master is... Where to begin? Um... <laughs> Let's, you know, just watch it for yourself, actually. Okay, yeah. It's like Nintendo's Kung Fu. You start on the floor. But the one thing that's actually sucky is when I... You know, you have... You know, you can't... I don't know what buttons you have know, to use to jump. And the guy... You know, what you call it? come at you. It's like bad, you know. And come on. And of course, I can't stay stand still and punch. So it sucks. It's like really bad, and I'm gonna constantly lose lives. So this sucks. It's a sucky game. I can't make it to the end of the stage. Uh, look, I you know, I tried to duck the witch cords, thinking, hey, I can. Okay, now I can. See, trial and error. Yeah, you know, if I stand still, I yeah, you, know, you know, it's with a regular Nintendo game, you're actually able to like maneuver. Like, it's like the people that made this game were like, oh, let's yeah, you know, let's try to make a, a which cool like Nintendo did. You know, maybe we'll basically do better than the Nintendo. When of course. You're mocking Nintendo, Atari. Like, God! Ugh. And the opening is like the Nintendo version of... And then, of course, it's supposed to go... But at least with the A and B button with the Nintendo system, you actually were able to do things. And I wouldn't have to keep pressing, you know, pressing the direction of where the enemies are attacking me from. It's... Oh... Horrible. This is like saying, "Hey, come, yeah, like, hey, Nintendo, we're gonna mock your game." Uh, Atari, why, why mock a good? I still got hit. It's like Atari is like, "Oh, let's mock Nintendo." This is a bad game. It's right trying to go in the direction of where I'm supposed to be going. It, it, it's terrible. I, I have to keep going. Yeah, I have to keep pressing straight to hit the enemy. Or in the direction I'm I yeah, I'm going to attack the enemy. And half the time, the accurate hitting the enemy, I can't even hit. And, you know, if I was actually... Okay, they ran away, so it's boss fight time. Okay, I had to press V for reset because I'm playing it on the website. But it doesn't tell you. This website doesn't give you exactly the accurate buttons of what to press. The, you have to... I'm gonna die again. This game is bad. 
See, at least in Kung Fu for Nintendo, you can actually press the... Yeah, you can stay straight and not have to worry about which card. I might probably do Kung Fu to do a comparison of... Yeah, if I yeah, if this website has it. Like, look, I can't even do anything. It's like my foot goes right through them and doesn't even hit them. Again. Like, what do I have to do? Hit them before they come? Uh. You know, some of the Atari games in my day were pretty good. But this is a joke. Alright, so on a scale of 1 to 10, oh. this is more, like, you know, Kung Fu Master. More like Kung Fu My Dick Balls. This game actually throws every glitchable problem that you would normally have if, even if, you know, if, you know, let's say, Let's say Atari basically said, okay, does anybody have a smart idea for a game? Um, well, there are people that are actually liking Kung Fu TV shows. Okay, let's make a game based on Kung Fu. It's like Atari didn't come up with any good ideas, and then Nintendo came along around the 80s, around when Atari was still in its Switch court, and then came the game Crash, and Atari just dropped out of uh, the Witch Coin. Because of this, plus Double Dragon. And, you know, and of course they tried their, their gamble at a couple of other games like Commando. Um, there's another game uh, for the Atari 7800, which I'm going to do a Let's Play of that, too. And that game is Akari Warriors. Now, if you basically saw the angry video game nerds rant of Akari Warriors, um, and you said uh, uh, Akari, Akari, you know, like Akari Atari or something, yeah, uh, you're gonna be actually seeing that on my next Let's Play. So, till next time, this is John Love and Hot saying peace out. See you then. Okay, this is John Love and Hot saying, until next time, peace out. Game on, everybody.